Hi, in the previous chapter, we looked at life processes involved in the maintenance function in living organism. In this video, we are going to understand the seventh chapter that is control and coordination, which is divided into three parts. In this video, we are going to understand the first part. The video mainly helps in study of control and coordination in animals. We will cover the following topics in this video. First, we will familiar with a short introduction. We will know about nervous system, their parts in detail. After that, we will learn about neurons, their parts and mechanism of working. We will also learn about human nervous system and their parts in detail. Protection of brain and spinal cord will also be studied in this video. Lastly, we will learn about important terms. So, let's start with our first topic. Introduction All the living organisms respond and react to changes in the environment around them, such as light, heat, cold, sound, smell, touch, etc. Both plants and animals respond to stimuli but in a different manner. For example, a cat running and germination of seed. In animals, control and coordination takes place by two main systems. They are, the first one is nervous system and the second one is endocrine system. Let us study about them in details. Now, we are going to study about the first control and coordination system, that is nervous system. It is also known as master controlling and communication system of body. Nervous tissue is made up of an organized network of nerve cells or neurons. System mainly composed of brain, spinal cord and nerves. Functions of nervous system are It helps in transportation of information to brain through spinal cord and nerves and analyze information, reacts accordingly through muscles and glands. There are specialized tips of some nerve cells that detect the information from the environment is known as receptors. They are located in our sense organs. Sensitive to change in environment, these are gustatory receptors, tongue, responsible for taste detection, phonoreceptors, ear, it helps in hearing and maintaining the balance of body, olfactory receptors, nose, it helps in the detection of the smell, photoreceptors, eye, it detects light and thus help in seeing. Thermoreceptors, skin. It helps in feeling touch of external stimuli that is heat or cold and touch. Parts of the nervous system. Nervous system comprises of a huge network of nerves, brain and spinal cord. Let's study about them in details. Now, we are going to study about neuron in details. A neuron is the structural and functional unit of nervous system. Nerves are thread-like structures emerging out of the brain and the spinal cord. Types of nerve cells or neurons. Neurons are of different types. These are sensory nerves. It sends messages from the sense organs to the brain or spinal cord. Motor nerves. It carries messages back from the brain or spinal cord to all the muscles and glands in the body. Intermuron or relay neuron. It connects neuron within specific region of the central nervous system. Now we are going to study about the parts of neuron. Each neuron consists of three parts. 
namely dendrite it acquires information cell body the information acquired by it travels as an electrical impulse axon transmits electrical impulse from the cell body to dendrite of next neuron other parts are dendrites branch projections of dendrite synapse it is the gap between the nerve ending of one neuron and dendrite of the other neuron here we came to study about mechanism of working of neuron the information from receptors is acquired at the end of dendritic trip of a nerve cell as chemical reaction triggered it creates an electrical impulse in dendrites now the electrical impulse in the first neuron travel from the dendrite to the cell body and then along the axon to its end at the end of the axon chemicals are released by the effect of electrical impulse these chemicals cross the gap or synapse and electrical impulse regenerated in second neuron and start a similar electrical impulse in a dendrite of the next neuron the similar synapse finally allows delivery of such impulses from neuron to other cells such as muscle cells or gland now we are going to learn about human nervous system in details human nervous system is divided into two systems central nervous systems and peripheral nervous system let's study about them in detail central nervous system central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord brain human brain is the main coordinating center of the body the brain has three major parts or regions namely the forebrain midbrain and hindbrain forebrain the forebrain is the most complex or specialized main thinking part of the brain it consists of the cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus part of the limbic system cerebrum cerebrum is the main thinking and largest part of the brain seat of memory intelligence and of sensory center like hearing smell and sight thalamus it relays savory information to the cerebrum hypothalamus it forms the link between nervous system and endocrine system midbrain the midbrain connects the forebrain to the hindbrain it controls involuntary actions such as reflexes for sight and hearing means change in pupil size hindbrain hindbrain also controls involuntary actions it consists of the cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata let's deal with these three cerebellum controls and coordinates posture and body balance example picking pen medulla oblongata controls involuntary action like blood pressure salivation vomiting and heartbeat pons act as a bridge between brain and spinal cord involuntary actions and regulation of respiration now we are going to study about the second type of nervous system that is peripheral nervous system the communication between the central nervous system and the other part of the body is facilitated by the peripheral nervous system it consists of cranial nerves arising from the brain and spinal nerves arising from the spinal cord let's study about the protection of brain and spinal cord protection of brain brain is protected by a fluid filled balloon called cerebrospinal fluid 
which act as a shock absorber and is enclosed in cranium skull or brain box protection of spinal cord a spinal cord is enclosed in vertebral column or backbone now we are going to study about response and their types the response of the nervous system is of three types these are reflex action voluntary action or involuntary action let's study about them in details the first one of response is reflex action a reflex action is quick involuntary sudden and immediate response of the body to a stimulus controlled by spinal cord example knee jerk withdrawal of hand on touching hot object etc the second type of response is voluntary controlled by forebrain example talking writing and the third type of response is involuntary controlled by mid and hind brain example heartbeat vomiting respiration the steps of reflex action pathways through which it works are following pain stimulus is carried out by sensory neurons reaches association neuron in the spinal cord and masses sent to brain now neuron decide which motor neuron to activate for quick response to stimulus muscle contracts when receive impulse from motor neuron and hand pull back to other place at last we are going to learn about some important terms they are following coordination working together of various organs of the body of an organism in proper manner to produce appropriate reaction to stimulus is called coordination stimulus observable or detectable change in external or internal environment to which an organism responds and react is called stimulus like light heat cold sound etc receptors these are specialized tips of some nerve cells that detect the information from the environment hormones the chemical substances which coordinate the activities of living organism and also their growth is known as hormones impulses the nervous system is responsible for sending receiving and processing messages in the form of chemical signals called as impulses synapse the space or junction between two adjacent nerves is called synapse reflex action it is quick involuntary sudden and immediate response of the body to a stimulus reflex arc the pathway through which nerve impulses pass during reflex action is called reflex arc reflex reflex is an action generated by the body in response to the environment response it is the final reaction after the reflex action so in next video we will study about endocrine system thanks for watching